Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Bros. With hopefully more of me paying attention. I seriously do not know what was up with me in the last video. I kind of just like skipped everything. Uh, I'm actually I actually missed the uh, one up in six one because I didn't get a coin in uh, five three, and I'm not gonna be able to get the one up here either because I skipped the uh, one coin in six three. So yeah, I kind of messed things up majorly in the last video anyway um okay it's not here but um let me get through these hammer bro first uh there's actually a one up right here if you got all the coins in six three but if you didn't well you have a pipe too so at least you have something i guess anyway i dislike this level because hammer bros are present and this is the part of the game where Hammer Bros start to essentially be in every level. Every possible level they can be in anyway. Um, and yeah, they just get a lot more annoying at this point. You kind of have to really try to force your way through. Oh, cool. I never actually get this far with uh, Big Mario, so... Hooray for Fire Flower! Fire Flowers are essential for taking out Hammer Bros, but you're never going to have Fire Flowers all the time, so... That's just something to keep in mind. <laughs> anyway, World 7 is pretty much a mix of World 2 and World 5. Because um, level 1 and 4 are essentially the same kind of levels as uh, World 5, 1, and 5, 4. And then uh, 7, 2, and 7, 3 are a lot like 2, 2, and 2, 3, so... Yeah, they kind of had a little hybrid here. And there's a lot of bloopers here. This is the uh, endless sea of bloopers, as I like to call it. Can you get up here? No, I'm thinking of Super Mario Bros. 3. In levels like this in Super Mario Bros. 3, you can actually jump out of the water, but... Not so much here. Not so much at all. Anyway, the trick for dealing with bloopers is really just to kind of let them f float around you. Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually dodged that. But yeah, let them kind of float around you because they have a tendency to not really, like, try to hit you. They just have a tendency to f try to float around you. And it's not really them hitting you, it's you running into them. That's usually how the bloopers end up attacking you. I guess you can kind of use the they're more afraid of you than you are of them type of logic, I guess. Try not to get... Come on, hurry up. I don't want to die. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is the tricky part right here. Oh, jeez. I'm going to get... I'm going to die. Dang it! Ugh! I knew that was going to happen. I This level's hard. I forgot how hard this level was. Oh, well, thankfully you get a midway point, so I'll have to go at the very beginning of the level, but still. I don't know if it's just me, but it always seems like whenever you die in the water levels, the layout kind of changes a little bit. I don't know. It might just be my head and my mind thinking of things that aren't actually there, but still. That's something I always thought when I was younger, that the layout changed, but uh, I believe that is not true. Also, I guess I could show this off. Um, whenever you uh, get the flagpole with uh, your time ending in 6, 3, or 1... You get fireworks. You get uh, six fireworks if you your time ends in six, three fireworks if your time ends in three, and one if your time ends in one. I can't believe I didn't actually mention that until now. Uh, thanks for a few people reminding me in the comments, and I want to make sure I got that coin. But now we have another jumping cheap cheap level. These levels can be quite annoying, especially when you're small Mario and Koopas are trying to kill you and everything else. 
Oh, come on. That was a... That was the worst jump in the world right there. Okay, um, let's try this again. Uh, something I didn't really mention last video that I'm sure a few people kind of pointed out was that because... Uh, I thought it was common knowledge, but, you know, I'm sure there were a few people who probably pointed out anyway. But, um, yeah, because of my whole computer issue thing, I did have to, you know, start a new file and essentially get back to where I was. So, uh, you know, there might be some score and live inconsistencies, but whatever. That's just the way it goes, I guess. And, okay, I really don't want to die anymore. Come on, let's, let's not die. Let's finish this and let's not get killed by cheap cheeps and let's beat Bowser let's save the princess let's move on to a different game let's not die so many other things I can say I want to do and what I don't want to do let's not make a stupid jump this time okay there we go I think we're about done I'm just trying to take it easy not too fast Sometimes, I don't know, maybe sometimes being fast is actually more helpful. It kind of varies in the situation. Okay, there we go. And I got all the coins, so we should be able to get the 1-up in 8-1. If I can remember where it is. I have an idea of where it is, but... I don't know for absolute fact. But that's here nor there, because we have a Bowser level. And I believe this is the uh, second of three mazes. The third maze is actually the last level. Technically. It's not really... It's not a maze like this, but it's still kind of a maze. Um, I believe here you want to go down, middle, and top. Hooray! Okay, now this one's a little more tricky. Uh, first you want to go to the top. Then middle... And then top again. Hooray, we did it. Now we just have to uh, get by Bowser. We have a uh, mushroom, so we can do that and get hit. And hooray, we're done. World 7 has been beaten, and we just have one level left. Or one world left, I'm sorry. But hooray, this is... Uh, going to be the final push for Super Mario Bros. And this will actually be the longest video of this part of the project. Just because these levels are pretty long. Anyway, um... The one-up for this level is actually right here, I think. Indeed, I was correct. So it's really good if you do get all the coins in the, uh last level, or not the last level, but you know, 7-3, because if you actually die here, you can actually, you know, keep getting that 1-up, because I believe there's no midway point for this level. Uh, this one you have to go from the beginning to the end in one fell swoop, and uh, this level's actually pretty difficult if you're not fast enough. As I said before, this is essentially, I think, the longest level in the game. Oh, no, I didn't say that, but I did say it was long, but yeah. So, yeah, you have to deal with that. I remember when I was younger, uh, this level actually took me a few tries, just because I played through pretty slowly. And there's also one jump where you have to, you know, basically be running and jumping. I believe it's this one. Yeah, I could never get that jump when I was younger. I just wasn't as good at the game. And also, I actually missed an underground pipe early on. I think it's like the fourth or fifth pipe in the level. Yeah, a little underground area right there that I missed, but whatever. Let us just move on and go to the next level. Okay, level 8-2, and I'm actually kind of surprised, because I might be able to do this without getting any game overs whatsoever. Although I guess that's not a really big deal because the All-Stars version is definitely easier than the original Super Mario Bros. version. I think that's pretty much confirmed that the All-Stars versions are easier just because I think they actually like uh, made Mario control better 
so that, you know, he's not like, his jumps aren't as laggy as they are in the original. Anyway, you can get one up pretty easily. Just follow it all the way to the end here. Watch out for the Koopa. And hooray, one up. And hooray for losing that one up as soon as I got it. Uh, wow. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try to be a little more reckless. Okay, no, bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> okay, well, there go all my lives that I collected throughout the entire game. They're all going to be lost right here. That's such a tricky jump. I mean, it's not like a Kaizo jump or anything like that, but still... newbies to the Mario series will have, you know, some moderate problems with this world, I'd say. I think that kind of goes without saying. Okay. Is there a mushroom right here? I have a feeling there might be. No, there's not. There might be, though. I might just not be looking hard enough. Oh, there might be a mushroom right here, actually. Let me get the bullet bills off the screen, though. Thank you. I knew you were there somewhere. Okay. Let's take it easy. We have plenty of time here. Oh wow, I almost didn't make that. Okay, this jump right here is actually kind of annoying. But I got it. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, there we go. I think this is... No, it's not. I also love how the closer you get to the end of the game, they kind of, like, segment these staircases a lot more. It's a cool little effect, I guess you could say. It'd be really cool if I get 64... No. 640,000 points. Don't think that's going to happen, though. Okay, here's what might be the hardest level in the entire game, at least for me. And I'll explain why when we get to the part, but, um... The reason is these guys. Not so much, like, these exact guys, but... You know, these enemies. These freaking hammer bros. They make one part of this level very, very annoying. And you're going to see why in just a moment. You want to know why? Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. Shoot. Dang it. I didn't want to waste that mushroom because there was another one right here and I could have had a fire flower. It's fine though, it's fine. Basically though, we have... Hammer Bros on the ground. And that's just annoying. That's uh, hard because... I mean, they're already difficult when they're on the block structures, but when they're on the ground... I mean, you pretty much have to find that one little sweet spot opening. And you're not always going to get that either. So... Yeah, whatever. Uh, gonna go into the castle with Small Mario, but that's fine. The castle's honestly not that hard. But here we go, guys, going to the last level of the game, 8-4. Okay, let's uh, jump. Like I said, this level is actually a maze. And what you have to do to pass the maze is you have to go inside the right pipe. I think you just go across here. And I think this is the pipe right here, actually. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I always forget the correct order of things. Okay, no, I got the right. I got the right path. But yeah, just go up here for the second one. Here's usually where I get confused. It doesn't help that there's cheap cheeps here either, though. Uh, yeah, I believe it's just this one. Then, for no reason, you have an underwater segment. 
with the most illogical thing you'll find in this game. Fire bars that work underwater. And the bloopers are pretty annoying, too. Jeez. Although, to be fair, if you think bloopers are annoying in this game, just wait till Lost Levels. Okay, we're at the end. Uh, there might be a hammer bro I have to deal with, though. I have a feeling there is. Yes, there is. Frick. That's right, I said frick. I can never get their pattern when they jump. Okay, I got it. I got it. No, 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 don't die. Don't die. Okay, Bowser, you and me. You, me, and the princess. Nah! Uh, I thought I could actually get an opening right there, but whatever. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead and just cut to the final fight again. I don't need to show this entire level off again. Okay, here we are again at Bowser's Lair. Yes! Game beaten. Yay, we even get a mushroom too. How sweet. Aww. Thank you, Mario. The kingdom is saved. Now try a more difficult quest. And, uh, I guess I'll end on this note. Um, whenever you beat Super Mario Bros., you actually unlock a harder version of the game. Uh, by this I do not mean lost levels. I don't mean it like that at all. But, uh, basically, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you really quick and then end the video there. But, as you can see, let's continue, and we're at World Star 1-1. Basically, the extra mode of the game features faster enemies. And, uh, for instance, we have uh, Buzzy Beetles replacing Goombas. And, uh, there's other changes as well. I can't think of them all off the top of my head, but um, I think time actually moves a lot faster, too. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, a harder version of the game. Uh, I don't think they actually edit any of the levels. I think it just give you know, modified enemies and, uh, you know, the time constraint as well. Because as you can see, the one-up's still here, and that's important. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and mention this. Uh, in the future, I might actually do a, uh, weekend mini-project of the, you know, the extra mode of the game. Just because it is, you know, something else you can do with the game, I guess, so, uh, yeah, look out for that in the deep, deep, deep future, well, maybe not that deep, but in the future regardless, not my next week weekend mini project, but definitely a future one I'll probably and try to incorporate, anyway, uh, that actually about does it for Super Mario Bros, and, uh, uh, here's what's gonna happen, as you guys know, on Thursday and Friday I'll have Super Mario Bros 2, and uh, after that, I think I'm also going to have uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 on next Monday and Tuesday as well. Uh, just so I can finish off the game then. Actually, I don't know. Will I have the game done by then? Or, let's see. Let's see, in this video I get to... Four, five. Okay, yeah, I'll actually finish up uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 next Tuesday. And then on Thursday of next week, I'll start Super Mario Bros. 3. And uh, when we get back to Monday, I'll be replacing uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 with Lost Levels. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what you can expect in the next week. And uh, I'll see you guys then for when it happens. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Super Mario Bros. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you for the other playthroughs in this collection. So, uh, yeah, later, folks.